Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I hope you're well. I, d I didn't expect to be making a video today and I really didn't expect to be making it about Joker. I didn't expect to be making a video today because I just filmed one yesterday, but it's gonna be like a while before it comes out because it's a monster of a video. So yeah, my iCloud is suffering. I also, I didn't expect it to be like, I didn't expect to be talking about Joker again, like at least for a very long time because I, if I made another video about Joker, it would be talking about the second one, right? I mean, that's what I thought, but I didn't really think I would, especially not for a while because I can't go to movie theaters because I'm banned from every single one. I'm kidding. I'm not banned. I just have sensory issues and so I can't sit in movie theaters. So I'm like late to everything, um, unfortunately, unless it comes out on a streaming service, but I don't have HBO. So like I'm extra late. I haven't even seen like Barbie yet. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be making one about Joker so soon, but I am because they just released a trailer. I guess I'm a couple days late to this, but to be fair, I was two years late to two years, something like that. I was two years late to Joker in general because it didn't come to Netflix until like not too long ago and now they're taking it off and I'm upset. But anyway, so we're gonna watch the trailer. And so so yesterday, I guess it wasn't on my um, recommended, I guess the, the, the trailer wasn't on my recommended until today for some reason, but yesterday, Palais Royale, is that how you, I, I haven't, I either haven't heard anybody say it at all, or I haven't heard it in a very long time, but they did a cover of Happy Together, um, and it's for the Joker movie, which that's awesome, and obviously I watched it, and I was very confused because I hadn't seen that the trailer came out yet, <laughs> and so, and there's clips of the movie in their, like, Happy Together cover, and so I was like, did they just like release a bunch of clips from the movie for this? Like, is this the actual trailer, but it's for some reason on the Palais Royale YouTube page? Like what, what's going on here? <laughs> Did they accidentally release this too soon and like leak clips from the movie? So we'll see how much the clips from Palais Royale is in this trailer. Also, they did a great job. Um, I have a really high standards because first of all, those song is like good. But second of all, Gerard Way and Ray Toro did a cover of it. And like, of course, I think that's like incredible. Like anything they do, I'm like top tier. Doesn't get better than that, you know? So they did a really good job. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. It's supposed to be a musical. So we'll see. Google a while ago said it, that it's a musical, but they also had a fake trailer up on the like official Google page. So um, I'll talk about that after. Let's let's watch because I need to stop yapping. Hey oh, so <laughs> Fleck, you got a joke for us today? I think that's a fantastic idea. Let's mock the guy. That didn't he kill, like, the therapist at the end of Joker? Didn't he kill her? And he was in handcuffs. I mean, there's four guys surrounding him now, so maybe it's a little bit safer to make fun of him, but still. There she is. We use music to make us whole. Accurate. To balance the fractures within ourselves. Gosh, I love, I hope it's Lawrence Sure, It probably is doing the cinematography and like the lighting because that's what I, I talked about that in my, in my mini review that I just made. Did I mention that? I just made, I did mention that. I just made another Joker or a Joker video and that's why I'm like surprised that I'm making another one so soon. But um, the color grading of the original Joker was so good and these like blue green lighting scenes are my favorite. Like, oh my gosh. So I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to work on my makeup skills because I'm not great at it yet, but with the videos that I've been making, I've been trying to match the makeup to like the the feelings that I get, like the color feelings that I get, um, or like the color theme, you know? Sorry, this is not relevant. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to match the vibe, you know? And the blue-green scenes from Joker just make me like, that's what I was matching with the makeup, but I love them so much, so I hope. And then like the color contrast with like, um, it, if you watch the, the mini review, like if you just click through to the end to see the art, that I finished like the the contrast of the like the Helms pharmacy sign and the blue green like back oh, I love it I love it so much okay sorry 
See, stuff like that. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. So, I know that they are, they deviate a lot, or this particular, I mean every, 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 every Batman, Joker, comic book deviates quite a bit from from the um original the original source which is fine and joker obviously deviates quite a bit um i mean he doesn't fall into a vat and lose his mind because he's disfigured like the original um but harley quinn is a psychiatrist yeah is she like that in the comics i actually don't know but i'm pretty sure she is but she's like canonically a a, a a psychiatrist so like her being like i haven't done anything with my life makes me wonder like did they just remove that aspect of her <laughs> or maybe she just has insecurities which is like valid i don't know i feel like becoming a psychiatrist or psychologist or whatever she is i mean you go to school for that you go to school for that that's doing something with your life <laughs> sure you ended up in an asylum but like you still went to school to become a psychiatrist <laughs> Fleck has uh, fangirls. <laughs> Amazing. Dude, I love that so much. I love- hold on, hold on, let's go back a second. Look, is that not the Murray- the Murray show? Is that not the- that looks like the- the Murray show, yeah. Did they- I love the idea that he just like- he just took over. He killed Murray and then he was like, this is my show now. <laughs> it probably is. Just knowing, just knowing, you know? I feel like that's probably the Murray show, but now, like, Harley and Joker. <laughs> or Joker. <laughs> Tell us, what changed are there? Should be talking about <laughs> I have a girlfriend. That's what we should be talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's so funny. I have a girlfriend now. <laughs> That's what we should be talking about. <laughs> Giving crow. Sorry, I need to shut up. <laughs> True romance. True romance, pointing a gun at your significant other. Oh, I want to draw this scene right here. That actually looks really cool. Oh, I'm gonna draw that. I'm so gonna draw that. Hold on. <laughs> I just took a screenshot. October 4th, 2024. So that means I'm gonna see it in 2026. Oh my gosh. That's so annoying. Maybe I'll just like rent, or not rent, maybe I'll uh, get a 30 day free trial from HBO Max when it eventually comes out onto there before it comes out onto any other streaming site. Okay, honest, I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't want to jinx it, okay? I feel like there's very few sequels that I've watched that I've liked more than the original. Not that I think I'm going to like it more than the original, but like hopefully equal, you know? Hopefully. No, but it, it doesn't look bad, especially, you know what it is? Especially because when I looked up, did I mention this before? When I looked up, when I found out 
that Joker 2 was a thing and it's called Folly Ado, which I love because that's my favorite Fall Out Boy album. But when I found out that they were making a second one, this was before, the, I mean, obviously this was before the trailer because the trailer just came out, but um, Google had a trailer put up um, and I guess it was just like a, a, a mistake or something. It was a fan-made trailer and I don't want to be mean. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't that it was poorly made. It was just that they didn't have any materials to use. And so it made the movie look really bad. <laughs> it made it look, because, because what they were doing is they just took clips from the original Joker and then clips from, I think, A Star is Born or something and put them together or put like Lady Gaga's lines in there to make it look like a trailer for Folly Ado and it 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 didn't look great <laughs> it it didn't it made it made me like really sad before I was like oh this is not an official trailer I don't even know if they put like an official trailer in the title but they, they I don't know why I fell for it but I did so this one is like much better so the Palais Royale um video the cover, I think I said this, they had clips from the movie and I think the majority of the clips that were in that video were in this video. Like I, like all of the clips were in here, but I think this one had more, more to it, you know? Um, which makes sense because this is the official trailer, but actually it might've just been the same thing just with um, Happy Together. <laughs> I can't remember. I watched it last night and I can hardly remember. This actually looks pretty good. Some movie trailers do not do, they do not do the movie justice. So hopefully, because I think this is pretty good, hopefully the movie is equally as good as the original Joker. It does make me nervous that it's a musical, um, especially because the first one is not. And I understand why they're making it a musical because, you know, Arthur is supposed to be a musical being. Um, and it's not that I'm worried that the music is gonna be bad because Lady Gaga's in it, you know, and she, I mean, the vocals are obviously, for her at least, are gonna be fantastic. I just worry about, like, you know, are they just gonna burst into song every once in a while? I like musicals, okay? And you can do, like, a serious movie and still make it a musical, you know? Like, Sweeney Todd is a great example of that. Like, Tim Burton's Sweeney Todd is, it's really good. Even though it's a, it's a dark, like, serious movie, they still, they still did a good job, like, making it so it's not, like, weird. There's one scene where they're, like, self-aware, you know, where he's, like, singing, and then, what's her name? Miss, Miss Lovett is like, all right, well, <laughs> whatever. I'm rambling at this point. I'm just, I'm just worried about that. Hopefully it'll be, it'll be, it'll be good. Um, hopefully Lawrence Shirt. did they say his name? <laughs> Written by Todd Phillips, directed by Todd Phillips. Mm, okay, they didn't say that he, they didn't mention his name, but he's the one, hopefully he's still like on the team. Yeah, no, that looks pretty good. Shut up. Anyway, I really am wondering how much they're gonna deviate from, like, even more from, from the original source material. Okay, yep. Let me know your thoughts on the trailer. Um, let me know if you're obsessed with color grading and color theory as much as I am, because I feel kind of, like, weird for rambling on about it for so long. Yeah. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are excited and that you get to watch this movie before I do, um, in a theater experiencing the experience, but... Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later, possibly with a third Joker video, and then a fourth, and then a fifth, because why not? Whatever. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I swear. I promise. I'm done. I'm done. I need to shut up at this point. I just want to think about this forever. Do you ever- I'm not done. Do you ever get, like, if you're watching a movie or, like, a like a trailer or you're really into something, like, a book or something, you get, like, so into it that you can't stop, like, thinking about it and, like, you get confused as to where you are because you're so into it? That's what happened to me when I was watching The Shining. I watched The Shining and then something else, like, happened and was on, but in my head I was still in The Shining. And I came out of it and I was like, whoa, why am I not in The Shining Hotel? And that's what happened with this movie. That's what happened with, like, any other movie movie that like I really like so that's why I'm like I'm still thinking about it man I'm still thinking about it okay anyway thank you so much for watching I will see you later I hope you're doing well sorry for being annoying <laughs> I'm just a girl okay I'm just a girl see y'all later